Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to. What, what do you like most about being a journalist? My, I, I, again, this this is a cliche that is uh, people have we have used uh, carelessly. What I like most about being a journalist is setting agenda. The mere fact that I can set agenda. The mere fact that what I publish as an editor influences people. The mere fact that what I publish is taken seriously and formed and forms the basis of either a discussion, a position, or uh, uh, what I'll call group think. People say, okay, because Vanguard published this, this it must be the truth. That is what we should do. Vanguard published this. That is the position of the of the government or of the political party or of uh, a particular group or anything. The, your agenda setting function. Trust me, that's why the rigor that we take to publish a particular news item, especially on the front page of a newspaper, you know, um, speaks to the fact that we know that we are trying to influence the public. We are trying to educate the public and we are trying to um, inform the public. Okay. What don't you like about being a journalist? The, what I don't like about being a journalist, <laughs> very few though, but I can tell you one that irritates me. People think you, you have answer to everything. People think you have answer to everything. And because they, they assume you are God, who should know? For instance, um, a political party, or a, 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 um, yeah, let's say a political party, lose this at the election, if the media is blamed. Somebody quarrels with his, with his wife, is the media. Somebody falls out with his uh, business partner, he blames the media. Somebody, <laughs> all sorts. You, know, you are expected to have answer to everything. So what would you say has been the greatest thing you know, that journalism has done for you? The greatest thing? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm who I am today, and I'm not taking this lightly. I'm editor of Vanga today. Is because of my work as a journalist and it has made me whether you like it or not a stakeholder in the Nigerian project my views and the paper I did are taken seriously and I do not take that lightly and that for me is uh, a great thing the journalism has done for me okay well, what would you have wanted journalism to do for you that it has not done well uh, let me say, this country right now is on tenter hooks people are uncomfortable there's agitation here and there. Well, are you talking as an individual or as an institution? Personally? Personally, yeah. Personally. What has journalism not done for me? Journalism has done everything for me. I'm happy with who I am. You cannot have it all. So I'm, I'm happy. Journalism has done everything for me. So what, what has been the commonest mistake they have noticed with uh, most journalists? The commonest mistake most journalists make is take how do i put it now take people for granted how do i put it we for instance you you have your uh, your source or whoever you are dealing with i said i don't know how to describe it. the the commonest mistake we make is that again we ask back to your previous question we think we know everything we don't know everything i was i was once asked by a top source in intelligence circles during one of us uh, one one of uh, very social gathering. And, it's, and he asked me this question. You journalists think you have all the answers. You don't. You don't know why those of us in security circles do the things we do. So we sit in our newsroom at times. We tend to answer security questions. And governance has several components. And the security part is also a very huge component. We don't know why they do what they do. So I, I, I left that interaction, understanding or believing that some, there are things we take for granted because we are journalists. So I left that place better educated. Okay. Earlier on, you were saying something about um, knowing what story to publish and what story not to publish. What yes. kind of stories must an editor not publish? Let me restate what I said. A good editor is knowing what not to publish. Now, now, what shouldn't you publish? To 
Today, the country, we are on the verge of a new government. Everybody knows, look, there are petitions at the tribunal. There's a president-elect. And today you go out and publish stories that to provoke either the agree to rioting or you try to diminish the president-elect or his, his supporters in the name of sensationalism. That's, again, would be irresponsible journalism. So that, that's why in a democracy there's a tripod of the executive, the judiciary, and the, 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 the parliament, whatever they call it. So you find out that right now the electoral process will be completed when the courts adjudicate. We are waiting on the courts now to finish their... their um, their hearing or their judgment, whatever it is. Now, if this man goes out and starts howling, either diminishing the victim or diminishing the language, it will be irresponsible journalism, not understanding the times at a time like this. So, not using the political correct professionally will be irresponsible journalism. How do you describe yeah. your life as an editor? Describe life as an editor, interesting, challenging professionally challenging and interesting, especially okay. now. Okay. Why now? Why not before? Why is it more interesting now? Now, before, you, you there was a difference between an editor and a business manager. What I mean by that, that is that previously, you, you, the, an editor was just producing the paper. But now, Increasingly, yes, there's, there's a thin line that divides the editor and the, and, and the business manager. You are both an editor now and a business manager. What that means is that the fortune of your paper, business wise, economically, also depends on you as the editor. What you publish okay. and the people you are able to attract. So, those days, you will yeah. add the, the business. There was a, a clear divide between the editor and the business side. But now, there's almost a fusion because the editor is now part of the business side. So, your editorial policies to also reflect the fact that your business must not die. What, what would you say makes a good editor? A good editor must have integrity, number one. Apart from the, 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 the points I raised earlier. A good editor must be must have integrity, must be very well read, must be educated enough to know what, what to what to publish and what to not to publish. In fact, a good editor must always must oh no, let me let me rephrase that. A good editor must almost all knowing. Please let me repeat that, that. Must almost be all knowing. You must be discerning enough, you must be all knowing enough to know what not to publish. A good editor must have integrity, a good editor must be professional, a good editor must be very well read. That's the only way you can guide your subordinates who are also very well educated, have their own political views, have their own uh, ideological uh, orientation. So as an editor, you must rise above the fray and you must be very well equipped to rise above that fray and lead correctly.